All right, hello, hello. This is for the Pisces for the month of August energy. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, ironically, <laughs> actually, that's a song. Um, I wasn't even listening, you know, to anything and it popped in. So isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Alanis Morissette. A little too ironic. Yeah, I really do think. So in that song, you know, it's all talking about, you know, it's like rain on your wedding day. It's uh, the free ride when you already paid, right? The good advice that you just didn't take. Uh, meeting the man of your dreams and then meeting his beautiful wife. All right, Pisces, so we'll see what other signs. I think there might've been Sagittarius. So Aries, uh, I don't know why I said Aries, but air signs, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I think there's Aries right there. That's Aries, yeah. There's Pisces, there we go. Air sign with Pisces energy. So maybe you have air in your chart, possibly Capricorn. Mercury is in reverse here with this Aries sign. So maybe there's blocked communications. I'm seeing this person looking Aries, Pisces. Why do I keep calling it Aries, Pisces? It's air, Pisces. Aqua. Maybe it's uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'll get more clarification. There could be someone you work with. This is someone feeling like someone's restricting, someone blocking, someone from communicating even. Work, maybe it's a, someone you work with. Okay, I'm throwing those down. Actually, I'm gonna shuffle it. I mean, that's kind of crazy. So it could be cross watchers even of Pisces or like I said, rising moon, Venus sign, possibly. What zodiac sign? That one fell here by this tea leaves, Leo. Well, hello, Leo. I'm going to put you here because you fell over there. Uranus. You're an ass. Leo. 520. Uh, also some Taurus energy with that, but Uranus in reverse. So someone, it's like someone's, this is nothing new. This is like some repeating type of almost expecting this type of behavior. Mm. Neptune, Pisces, Moon. So some of you is specifically for the Moon sign. It's our, or you also have Gemini, Moon. Um, there could be restriction with communication with that. 314, 321, right on that cusp energy for Pisces. Dealing with either you have a Gemini, Moon, or Pisces, Moon. Okay, I see. 521, the 14th and the 21st, 3553. Okay, all right, so over by that's just what's underneath there. Maybe that's dealing with that Capricorn energy. So, hello, Cappies, dealing with Capricorn energy, Pisces, uh, restricted communication. There's passion or anger there, possibly, and it could have to do with father energy or someone you work with. I'm seeing um, 1015, even Libra energy, 1017, 115, 117 in particular. This is the Pisces reading, but you know what I mean? This is, yeah, here we go. Pisces, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, for some of you, is a Sagittarius sun sign, 12, 9, and a Pisces moon. Um... 912 Virgo energy 239 Pisces 911 12 the threes communication so and then one final one fire moons so fire moons so some of you have a, a Leo sun sign Aquarius sun sign even so maybe very specific there might be Gemini energy too so I said all those air signs right so I'm seeing 10 12 as well 5 10 5 12 Five, nine, the 23rd, 1023 is shifting into um, that, that cusp energy. So 923, even Libra, 1223 is shifting into Capricorn, 1023, Scorpionic, 523, Gemini, hmm, 223. Okay, Pisces. Okay, underneath there, we got the water. So something about that is scorpionic. Maybe you're also dealing with that. Scorpio, and you have the Pisces moon in particular, or you're dealing with scorpionic stuff. Under the water. Ah. Okay, so in specific, here we go. 453 for the Pisces in August. Maybe you have a, it's pretty specific. Either you're dealing with 
uh, Uranus energy or uh, it's even maybe in retrograde or an Aquarius energy. Online communication, social networking, friends. We're going to get one, two, three for you with this communication. 320. Spotlight is ship, direction, and journey. Finding navigation. The peace and serenity. So going towards peacefulness, serenity. Huh. Maybe even detaching from social networking um, or Aquarius type energy. You know what I mean? To um, detach. Old man inheritance. This one just came up for the last reading. Is this Capricorn weirdest thing Pisces I think I I switched like I did the Aquarius one before the Capricorn like my brain after Sagittarius I don't know why I'm telling you that Capricorn seems to be involved with this uh reading or uh I almost but it's over here and there was Aquarius energies this is crazy so it's very interlinked uh let's get one especially by that Leo sun energies Bride. So some of you, it's a wife or a bride. There's an engagement. Or you are, if you're the Leo. There's luck and money with that. Oh my gosh, you're getting a whole story, Leo. It's exciting. Or there's a bride. There's luck and money. The archetypes might talk about this. Loyalty, Leo Capricorn. Pisces, why is this one? Why are, is this, why are you involved with this? There's loyalty. There's some... Um, I'm, Wow, so maybe that makes sense for you. There's there's loyalty over here. Maybe you're looking at another relationship even with that one song. And you're seeing a Leo Capricorn. I don't know. Stability, security, Pisces, Taurus, or Pisces, Sagittarius. I don't know why I said Taurus. The wisdom. The Sagittarius energy is the wisdom. It really is, too. Stability. But you need to get anchored in, especially Pisces moons. There's this wisdom keeper, the whales, and a change in the cycle. The moon, again. So fire moon. So specific for Sagittarius moons. So Pisces moons, is, you need to get anchored in and feel stable. So you're not just flowing, you know what I mean? There needs to be some type of stability. The five. No, we got six cards again. Even in your day-to-day -day life. Cycles and changes. It's, even with children, Leo energy. Um... The 23rd, the five, a change in the moon, in creativity even. I'm seeing that peace and serenity and romance and flowers. Wow, okay. Unlocking a key. <laughs> oh my gosh, and a key. Being peaceful and romantic. This is the Venus energy and love, compassion, also cups energy, right? There's a key, the coffee. Take things slow. Take things slow. You are protected. Oh, turtle. Taurus energy. Old woman. There could be, there could have been some sadness or depression there with a, regarding even pregnancy or fears regarding pregnancy. And on, on this direction, not knowing what, wow, not even knowing what direction to go with this. Okay, that was crazy. I see the water energy again. So other water signs, specifically Scorpio. Okay, I'm going to go to the fairy tarot now. We're at 841. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. Um, wow, I have someone feeling like things were not fair um, regarding even inheritance, um, the give and take. Someone didn't repay back a debt. The good you do comes back to you. Oh, wow. Someone wasn't giving and generous. This inheritance, something happened. It wasn't equally shared. Someone feels that way. There was a get together, a party. Someone was looking at all of their different options of what to do, um, procrastinating. There's air sign quality, so younger Aquarius energy even. Two, maybe you're dealing with more than one. It could be Gemini or Libra, but young energy. An indigo child. They're not speaking honestly about something. Not being realistic. It says information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness. An indigo child. I got this like kill him with kindness type thing. Like that Selena Gomez. Someone doesn't have work. Okay. Um, they don't have a job. Or they need to go to school. Or 
Uh, even this boss energy, they don't have work. Oh man, the boss doesn't have work to give or he's not working. He's not, he's looking at all his options, trying to figure out where to work um, or find jobs. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. All right. All right, Pisces. It's almost like a retirement or there's inheritance. Someone didn't, right? Princess of Springs here. Amber in reverse. So this is usually Aries Taurus. I see 45, 4, 5. We also got Leo energy, right? 8, 4, 8, 5. The boss is in reverse procrastinating maybe he's thinking about an engagement or it's about bride <laughs> five seven seventy five fifty seven um we have this optimism right this is that sagittarius energy even um but leo too childlike creative it's time to go after your dreams there's procrastination do something that expands your horizons let your creativity flow and let the money come in with luck and money with something. I'm going to grab an archetype. I'm going to pull them up now. I'm going to grab two actually. Let's see. Oh, one, two, three. You're going to need three. Oh, we got the venom. There's something toxic. The gem. Finding this gem. So I'll pull some gems. I'm going to go to that too. It's by this Capricorn energy. And I'm just going to say that uh, Capricorn this is the Pisces energy, right? So I'm only putting Pisces in the, <laughs> in this title, but it could be something. Capricorn also represents the devil. So I'm seeing Capricorn Taurus there, but maybe you have this in your chart, but there's something toxic in your life, whether it be thoughts or actual things like that. And someone reaching for something, the medallion is P Pisces even to stay anchored something you're reaching for the stability oh my gosh i see the hand reaching again for someone you see like holding hands thanatos the web and the moon energy pisces you are the moon energy too fire moon um pisces sagittarius that's crazy um but i'm seeing that even the moon card. She has long blonde hair and she's reaching towards the moon. Oh my gosh, Aries. There's a song, it's by Tool and it's Parabola. Or par there's two of them Parabola, Parabola. And I saw this like reaching to the moon. <laughs> I have a picture. <laughs> Never mind. If that's something personal for me, but it just, there's something like this, right? So there's something toxic here. And for some of you, maybe there is a, a gemstone because it came out with the gem. They gave someone a gem. And a medallion, a re reaching, an anchor, stability. And we've got Thanatos, Sagittarius. I feel like this is the death card too, transformation, but we got the web here. So like even um, waiting, you know, trusting intuition. Like when I see this, I also see like the spider sitting in its, um, its place waiting patiently for something to get caught in its web, right? Not going out seeking. I need to read that one. So we do have party energy here and we have wish fulfillment as well. So someone's getting their wishes come true. Dreams have filled a magical time of life, a party, a celebration, a reconciliation. Those, someone might be saving money or um, kind of feeling in a lack mentality about because you spent a bunch of money with celebrating or partying, um, an announcement that comes through. Oh, and it's even about your home. We got the four, four, nine, four. So we got some Virgo energy again, nine, three, nine, four. 34, let's see what's, and King of Springs in reverse, what is this, one, two, three, four, five, a Leo energy masculine, I'm going to flow it through because we got Leo right here, okay, uh, 14, 41 on the clock, so this wish fulfillment, someone, it, it has to do with, um, someone, this inheritance, um, 
maybe not having to work anymore. Maybe there's a graduation, right? Because we're celebrating announcement, wedding, graduation, birth, friend you cherish. There is this party or celebration even with friends, um, even, but the boss feels like there's lack mentality. Like they might be, you need to save money, manage your resources wisely, achieve a balance in how you spend and save money. Help those that are less fortunate. This is how you be giving too, four, seven. So Aries season, three, four, three, nine, three, seven, four, seven. Then you got the four, four, too. So someone might looking at their options of houses even or something like this, saving money for a home. I'm saying this is important. Maybe Leo energy, Pisces, Leos. Um, be grateful you have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness, contented personal life, right? But someone's procrastinating about something. Um, this gem, Princess of Spring. So we got a lot of the fire energy. It's because someone isn't supporting something. They're not willing to step up um, and be a leader. This a fire sign energy isn't willing to step up and be a leader. What is this gem? And the money and the coins. I don't understand. I'm gonna read out of the book with the Kim Cons. The gem. I open it up to the shadow, 1629, the unspeakable, the unwelcome, and the denied, 117 and 116, revealing unconscious aspects of the self and world, denying unconscious aspects of the self and world. That's when it's in dark. So denial, blue fire, in the shadow of the gods or the very gods themselves. Reflect on that statement by James Hillman. Hmm. What do you despise about yourself? Hmm. Contemplate the following scientific observation. In the closer an object, person, place, or community is to the light, the longer the shadow is cast. It was weird. There was something before I started this, that something was in the shadow. 1717. Huh. The self. The soul, the watcher, 118, 119. Okay, I'm gonna go to the gem. Wait, I have, I'm at the places, so I think Thanatos. Oh, I open it to Venom, so we're going to this first, 190. The poison, the curse, the token, toxin. Why did I say the token? 190. <laughs> the token, sorry, never mind. 191, a 10. 11. When you harm another, you harm yourself. Keep in mind this goes for our earth as well, with cosmic consequences. The spreading of the venom is like a chain reaction. When we strike others, it is likely we have ourselves been struck. Break the cycle. All right? Especially dealing with a Capricorn or for Capricorn. Hmm. I understand. Much to our dismay, the venom is always lurking in the shadows in one form or another. Its toxic presence may be found in our relationships, our thoughts, speech, or environment. Thankfully, the cycle of purification and detoxification comes so naturally that it is built into our very exhale. We breathe out carbon dioxide and the plants return it to us as oxygen. Archetypal venom is rarely remedied as easily, however, and it can come in potent forms and quantities that are deeply damaging to us and to the world. When the venom card appears, there is a harmful substance in our psychic realm that must be identified. Perhaps your words have a sting of, ident of poison about them. Perhaps a relationship is slowly draining your reserves. Acknowledgement is the, the first step, change is the second. The remedy will reveal itself in time and with it, forgiveness. When in light, there is self-realization through suffering. When in dark, unwillingness to find a solution or to forgive. Go deeper with A Poison Tree by William Blake. Mm. All right. The offering and the prayer. I do want to see the Thanatos. I'm pretty sure it's at the end here. Wisdom. Here it is. It is the death card. 
okay it is by the sagittarius moon so um pisces sagittarius right moon energy this is so it could be um just cusp energy energy but it is also transformative there's aquarius energy with this too 212 and 213 Hmm. Six, seven, Gemini, the four, home, family, cancer, energy. Um, it is tempting to oversimplify death and sum it up as transformation. But the true archetypal resonance of Thanatos cannot be easily assimilated or contained. Death is ongoing and omnipresent, an eternal response to the gift of birth. Witnessing the ending of another being, creature, phase or stage has deep consequences for the psyche we are forever changed by thanatos as it sweeps us under its wings making us relinquish control in our every form it leaves a mark of ash upon our heart signifying we have touched the cusp of the underworld and will return to the land of the living eventually with more compassion and wisdom to share this capacity is needed in our world one who has faced the annihilation of Thanatos can face anything. When this card appears, it signifies an initiation into the underworld. There is grieving, mourning, bearing witness to all that is. When in dark, there is fear or insensitivity to old age, illness, the dying. Go deeper with the mower by Philip Larkin. Facing death leads us to Aletheia truth hmm. there are those with a great gift for navigating thanatos energy thankfully we find these generous souls in emergency rooms hospitals hospice centers and the like hospice centers you see hmm forever changed sagittarius virgo 9 12 and 12 9 pisces 10, 12, Libra, 101, 1, 112, 923, Libra, hmm. the mother, very interesting, so I'm going to go to the medallion now, in the gem, I see the king and the hunter, the orphan, the eternal child, I'm looking for the tools now. <laughs> the dead and the places. Okay. These are not them. I saw the, the underworld and the nectar. The stone. Maybe I'll just go to the stones now. The medallion and the gemstones. Um, <clears throat> something you might be coveting even or reaching for. Um, all right, here we go. 2310. So I believe this is aquamarine, but I'm going to say, yeah, aquamarine and selenite. Okay. These are your gemstones. These are the crystals, the stone deck. Um, this is by Andrew Smart and Jason Weish. Um, photos and designed by Alice Chow. Okay. Keep your cool. That's maybe what it is. There's some toxic stuff dealing with a Capricorn even or with work. Keeping your cool. Hmm. Aquamine's fancy type of blue barrel. It's powerful coolant for the head and the heart. Who needs it? Those who run hot. Fire signs. Anybody hanging on to an unspoken burning desire. Wherever you need to turn that whisper into a primal scream. Or, if that's a li little overly dramatic, wherever you need to speak clearly and calmly from the heart. When you've lost your voice, when it's past time to let go, or when you're feeling a little too en fuego for polite company, ice yourself down with Aquamarine's cold shower vibes. Capricorn. Ha! <laughs> Pisces. So, Selenite is also there underneath it. I'm just going to flow it through, give you guys a few. Wow, what's this one? Smoky Quartz, too. Selenite. Clear your path to enlightenment. I see so much about the ice and cooling yourself off. Stay chill. <laughs> it's hot outside. 
It's a form of gypsum with calm, cool, collected vibes. Healers, believers, the currently cleansing juice technology, etc. Wherever you want the slate wiped clean, your bedside table. You can get beautiful cyanide lamps all over the place, right? When you move into a new space and want any lingering bad juju to vamoose, when you pray to the gods above, when you've been working with crystals and want to clear away energy you've picked up in the process, give them a gentle top, tap with selenite. And then you got the smoky quartz. Arm your spiritual warrior, ranging from almost clear to nearly black. Smoky quartz pairs with the clarity inducing vibes of clear stones with the protective do not cross over this line vibe of black ones. Glass, half empty types and the space cadets for the ones who need it. Put it on a chain, around your neck, or hidden in a pocket wherever you're certain to find difficult people in your path. Family, dinner tables, conference rooms, subway cars. When you fall prey to emotional vampires, when you've been too spacey and can't even, when you're embarking on a spiritual journey or a journey to pick up your dry cleaning, extra points if you're thinking, what's the difference? And there's black tourmaline under. I'm just, it seems to me, <laughs> oh my gosh, the song it seems to me you live your life like a candle in the wind um there's some negative there's something toxic and you need to clear it out whether it's your own there i feel like there's energy vampire people something like this i mean there's bad juju um with something you got the black tourmaline again this is also protection from negative energy okay and Lana's more set i brought her up the, the, isn't it ironic? Maybe that's part of it, this glass half empty um, thing. <laughs> um, she's an empath, right? Or excuse me, highly sensitive. And the weirdest thing is I remember hearing her say she feeds off the crowd's energy. So it can be vice versa, you see. But she can, but, but in a sense it could be good that, you know, their passion, their their joy, like it fulfills her and it fills her up and makes her, and she can feel their emotions, you know, whatever. Protect your light. Protect your light, Pisces. Grounding black tourmaline and slightly magnetized semi-precious gemstone with a reputation for protecting a delicate psyche from a case of the crazies and establishing powerful energetic boundaries between you and all the zombies out there. Everyone needs it. I'm seeing it even with this transformation, the death energy, Sagittarius energy, right? Beside your doors to keep emotional vampires out on your person, in your pocket, and everywhere. Anytime you take a public transportation, find yourself in a crowd or hear that sucking sound of a coworker, family member, Malignant demon taking more from you than they are giving back. Malignant. Narcissistic. Mm. Okay, now you got tech type under there. You know, right? That's the final one with the stones. Um, raise your vibration. You see, I love this. So it's staying calm, clearing shit out. And then raising it. It's natural glass formed as a result of a meteor impact from our blue planet. Okay, the stones, <laughs> the blue stones one by one. Who needs it? I hail from Star in Orion's belt, people who currently overburden by resentment. On your UFO landing pad, you should put it there or beside your meditation cushion. When gravity feels extra heavy, it's time to initiate launch sequence and blast off. When you're bored with earth life and want to expand your intergalactic horizons raising so that song i talked about parabola parabola tool um that's like my husband's favorite <laughs> um I, and i'm giggling because he was like reaching up to the stars and the moon while he was listening to it he had been drinking okay <laughs> but it's funny um Anyways, wow, Pisces. Okay, 2940. Ooh, a lot of gems. 
the gems, the stones. I'm seeing apophyllite. Apophyllite. That's interesting. And honey calcite as well. And Larimar. Slow your roll. There's tiger's eye too. Eye of the tiger. Survivor. Okay. Um, I'm going to finish this up quickly. And um, wow, Pisces. I'm going to grab a few more tea leaves. Um, we'll see. Because I already started with this. So I'm going to grab, I already know those. Okay, these tea leaves, Pisces. Covering this gem. That's interesting. A fair man. Dealings a relationship with a man that has blonde hair, gray, or white hair. Huh. And it's a king of spring. An Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, masculine. Upside down. A gem. Hmm. It could be younger. There, there is another fire energy that's younger that's optimistic oh wow sexual matters <laughs> too much concern with sexual matters and fear and worry is a tense situation um this is also with the rabbit is fears over pregnancy things like this as well a relationship with a woman fear and worry is a tense situation the crown on the ground honor and respect this is the weirdest thing. I saw like the name Chelsea or Chels and Dagger. This also makes me think of that Sagittarius energy. Wow. Okay. A, a tense situation. There could be fear of pregnancy and not. Oh my gosh. Okay. The crown, honor and respect will come to you. I don't usually take these upside down, so staying cool. You keep your crown, keep your cool, especially dealing with a Capricorn energy or at work, something toxic. Aquamarine, also some Libra energy to stay calm, detach emotionally from the situation, um, hold your head up high, right? Enchanted times, and then clearing it with the selenite cycles. We are all becoming surrender to your changes, release your fear and trust the process of releasing toxic stuff. No way, lots of Sagittarius pulling for you Pisces. The energy, life force is flowing. Open yourself to receive the power from within. Powerful, power. There's so much power from this wisdom um, to, do you know what I mean? To stay calm in the situation. It shows your ability to control yourself and not let others control your emotions by their actions, behaviors. There's something toxic. So whatever it is, stay calm, clear it out, clear your crown. Awareness. It fell over here by this, this fear and worry. Paying attention to the subtleties. Look with new eyes. There are signs and omens everywhere. This awareness. The rabbit fair man and this woman has dark hair so they and paler skin whatever um let's see if we can get another one another of these these are the magical time by judy bergsma's cards adversity see the gift in the challenge one can be taught within the calm but the greatest lessons are learned from the storms so definitely the greatest lessons so whatever this toxic type stuff is that you've been dealing with um i'm seeing there's definitely the pisces there's cancer energy there and even with the moon energy clearing it out that's in your work or capricorn energy there's funny there's laughter there's leo energy with that and then going embracing your need for solitude your inner sanctuary calls you this is also another part of clearing it away Renew yourself and thrive even. There's reaching for some medallion, Pisces, the sanctuary. I'm seeing the power again. Call upon the elements. You got the Sagittarius stuff going again. Focus your intentions. Your greatest dragon is within you. So you guys get dragon and dragonfly. Dragonfly and mercy. Calling for mercy even. Uh, with this transformation with death energy understanding that it compassion like compassion fill your world offer kindness to all living things 
what you give, you also receive. All right, and one more metamorphosis. So we've pulling in a lot of Scorpionic now. Trust the process and be patient, especially dealing with a fire sign 